I knew it. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So, in today's video, I want us to take a look at a very interesting company called Hylian. So, but before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So, if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So, Hylian, who is this company or what is this company? Um, it's a company that is very unique in the way they do business. So, if, when I talk about Hylian, for people that are into cars and into electric cars, you probably know about the company. Um, last time here, we talked about uh, Nikola Model on the channel, what they were doing and the merger that it went through to go public. And um, that stock has since went from um, under about sixteen dollars from the from the talk about the merger to when the merger actually went through to twenty five dollars, and then squeezing all the way to over $80 a share, which is awesome. So if you had gotten in when we talked about it here on the channel, you would have made some money. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you made some money and I hope that you took out some profit because if you didn't take out any profit, then you are a greedy savage. And there is a price for that. Always, always take profit out. If you invested, let's say $10,000 and you double that money, pull your $10,000 investment out and then leave the rest, which is what I call house money to play with, okay? Then use the, the other $10,000 to invest in something else like Hylion that we're talking about right now. So Hylion is a very interesting company and here's why I think they're interesting. They're not competing with Tesla or no, are they competing with Nikola Model in any shape or form? Um, and the reason why I think they, they have a, a chance is because they don't plan on manufacturing cars or trucks or whatever. And in Hylion, it, the business is designed to help um, logistic companies. So companies that have a fleet of semi trucks that you know, move freight all across the country, trying to help them go either hybrid or electric. Um, but again, like I said, their goal is not to try to build new trucks like Nikola Moto is planning to do. Um, their goal is to retrofit their technology into existing truck, which makes it really, really enticing for a lot of companies. So think about it. Um, if Nikola Motors produces a truck or manufactures a truck, I'm, I'm anticipating that the price of that truck would probably be somewhere around $200,000 to $250,000. And then depending on maybe the, the, the battery or fuel type, it would probably go all the way to $300,000. Again, that's just my guess. I have no evidence of this. I'm just looking at something like Tesla, which is a car, an electric car, and it's selling for the Model S for like over eighty thousand dollars. Then what about a semi truck? It would probably be uh, between one hundred and fifty to two hundred, or even two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Again, that's just my rough guess. I don't have any proof of this. So what um, Hylion is doing is that they are asking, hey, freight companies, bring your semi trucks to us. We would retrofit our technology in there and save you a ton of money. So they, they're anticipating that they can retrofit their technology into an existing semi truck for under 50 grand which totally makes sense. And I'm pretty sure a lot of companies that have, um, you know, a freight of, of semi trucks would want to do that. Because if you have, for instance, 500 semi trucks that are like crisscrossing the country, and then you go with Nikola Motors, it means you have to buy 500 semi trucks from them to replace your 500. And if, for, again, from my hypothetical price of say $200,000, that would be a lot of money up front for these companies to, to kind of just, you know, put out there. So if you come with the technology, hey, we're gonna take your existing truck, retrofit it, put that technology in it and make it a hybrid truck, I mean, to me, that sounds so enticing and you know, cost savings. Maybe after that, then the company can go back and say, now we have our 10, 15, 20, 30 year plan to gradually uh, you know, ease out these hybrids that we get from, um, let's say, Hylian to maybe Nikola Motors, which is 100% um, uh, electric. So maybe that's a possibility. Again, um, that, that's me just looking at it from an analyst standpoint and hey, this is something that potentially happened. So um, here's this, this story now why we're talking about Highland. So this uh, last week, um, there was huge news. So around, I think it was June 19, um, Highland and this, uh, what I'll call a blank check company called Turtis actually went into an agreement that we're gonna merge. And the reason why they're doing this is, um, again, Turtis is a blank check company. So they set up this company 
and put it start trading it and they have nothing no products or whatever and the goal is to acquire any enticing company that they see that they can take public and the the idea is to fast forward the process of going public for a lot of companies so for instance if Hylian was to plan on going public they would have to file with the fec and do all the paperwork and all that stuff which delays the process of going public but if you have a uh, if you have a, a blank check company like Twitter's in this case they can just do a merger and then it would go public and then change the ticket symbol um, from I think it's SHWL now I don't know what they're gonna change it to if you remember when we talked about Nikola Motors here on the channel they went from uh, vector IQ VT IQ to now NKLA so I don't know what the ticket symbol the new ticket symbol is gonna be for Hylian but I'm anticipating something H um, no you can go figure it out but so that's the point and now they, they agree that they want to go into this merger and now um, the stock went from trading around ten dollars uh, 30 stock went from trading around ten dollars um, pre merger news to when the news about the two companies merging came out it went to about eighteen dollars and then last week it just like I think Friday it jumped all the way to about $25 um, and then after I was pulled back maybe a dollar or so but it's now trading over uh, $23 a share and then now so if this merger completely goes through I'm anticipating that it would squeeze up as well as like we'd have with Nikola Motors so um, I, I'm gonna this is my again this is my investment strategy with, with stuff like this I'm not going in there trying to be a greedy savage. Yeah, I'm going to take all my, my retirement money and invest in this one company. I'm going to put money in there that I know that if this merger were to fail and this company went bankrupt, I'm okay losing that money. And I'm going to put the money in there. If it goes up to the point where I feel comfortable, I'm going to pull some profit out and play with, with house money. You know why? Because I'm not a greedy savage. I take profit and then I play with house money. So that's just my take. So um, that is the news. I'm anticipating that this coming week, um, Twitter is going to go crazy. They're going to jump. Um, watch it starting Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. The price is just going to go up as this news becomes more and more mainstream. Because right now, if you're not really um, uh, you know, researching and know these companies, you probably don't have any idea what's going on. But uh, as soon as it becomes public, and a lot of people really start to catch up here on YouTube and, and, and on social media, you're going to see the price of this stock is going to start squeezing up. And so you don't want to be late to the party. So I'm going to jump in and pick up some shares and then see what happens with it. Right? So so question of the day let me know in the comment section what do you think about this do you think this is uh, just another fire that you don't want to mess with you want to see if this company is established or you say hey I saw what happened to Nikola Motors and I missed out on the opportunity and this time around I don't want to sit on the sideline and watch people make a ton of money and always take profit because you don't want to be a, a greedy savage like share subscribe youtube tells me that 90 percent of you guys watching haven't already subscribed to the channel so if you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content that would be awesome stay motivated